Hello, this is um, an introduction for the very first basic patch using a MIDI keyboard. So this will be a bit shaky because I'm holding the camera in my hand so I can zoom in very closely to these modules on my rack. So what I have here is I have a MIDI keyboard which is connected to my A modular uh, via the master module and this um, and this connector here. So this is the uh, connector that came with my system, which connects a MIDI DIN cable to a, a TRS cable that goes into the master module. So what that means is that every time I press a key on my keyboard, um, the keyboard is sending two signals. One is the pitch of the key and one is the gate, which means it's sending a, um, a high signal when I start pressing the key and it's sending that signal for as long as I press the key. When I let the key go, the signal drops down again. So that is called a gate because it ramps up high and then stays high and then just falls down when the, when the key press is over. So with your very first patch, is so what I wanted is I wanted a VCO to change the pitch um, when I press a certain key on the keyboard. So let's listen to a VCO just by itself. So that is a very low frequency, so you can hardly hear it. I can change it. So you can change the pitch of a VCO like that, but if I wanted to change it with a, a keyboard, I have to get the signal from the MIDI keyboard, that is down here, to the VCO. And how does that work? It's via the master module. The master module takes the MIDI information of the pitch that is pressed and sends it via a, the bus cable that sits behind all these modules and any module can pick up the pitch information uh, if it wants to. And in this case, an oscillator module, all of the oscillator modules, in fact, have the bus CV output at the very bottom here. So you can see that on all the oscillator modules, you have the bus CV output at the bottom and you have the VC input at the top. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a cable and I'm patching the CV output, the bus CV output into the CV input on the same module. So now when you listen to it, just turn on the sound. So now you can hear that I've been successful in getting the pitch from the keyboard to the VCO via the bus CV output and patching it into the CV input at the top. But what I want is I want the sound to start when I press a key down. I want the sound to stop when I let go of the key. So how do we do that? So we need to patch a few more modules into this to make that happen. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go from the oscillator into a VCA. So here I have a couple of VCAs. So I'm just taking any one of them and I'm putting the output of the oscillator into the input of the VCA. So next thing is we want to go from the VCA to the sound output. So uh, to the mixer where I put it before. So I'm taking the output of the VCA and I'm putting it at the top here into my mixer. So again, the output of the VCA is going into my mixer. So now when I press a key, I hear nothing. I can't hear anything. And that is because a VCA is by default always closed. So in order to open it, I have to give it a signal to open it. 
And the best thing to do that is to use uh, an envelope. So I'm taking the output of one of these envelopes here. So the output of the envelope and I'm putting that into the CV in of the VCA. And an envelope is a, a voltage signal that rises and then falls. So rising, falling. But it needs a, a trigger to do that. And the trigger in this case is the gate signal from the keyboard. So I'm using my bus gate. Again, if it says bus, it's coming from the MIDI. And I'm putting that output of the bus gate into the gate input on the envelope. And now what will happen is that when I press a key, it starts, opens the gate on the envelope. The envelope does its thing of going up and going down. And that signal opens up the VCA, the amplifier, and starts sending the signal from the oscillator through to the mixer. Let's see how that sounds like. Perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. I hit a key quickly and I get the pitch and the note goes up and uh, goes starts and then stops. Now what happens when I ha uh, have the key pressed? See, even though I have my key pressed, it's still stopping the note. And this is because on the envelope I have a, a, a mode and in this case it's set to trigger which means that I only get a very short signal that a key has been pressed and then, and then the envelope does its thing. But if I change this to gate, so I just switch that up to gate, now the envelope is open for as long as I keep the key pressed. So listen to that. Okay, so these are the two different modes of an envelope. And of course I can shape that envelope in different ways. So this, this way it has a very sharp attack and I can make that uh, a bit different like this. I can have a very long attack and a very short decay. Um, and you can also have the envelope faster or slower. In this case, I have a fast envelope, but I can do a slow one as well. And if I do that, I can have a very long um, things going on. So let's listen to that. See, even though I'm uh, letting go of the key, it still sounds because the envelope takes a long time to close again. Now in this case, we're using the envelope to open and close the amplifier, and this is the easiest patch in the world. But we can use the envelope to do other things as well. So for instance, the envelope can also open and close a filter. So in this case, for instance, we wouldn't use a VCA. We, we could uh, choose to not use a VCA at all if we use a filter instead. So let's use a filter. So instead of the VCA, I'm putting the output of my oscillator into a filter. So in this case, I'm choosing the null filter here at the top and I'm putting it into the LP in. 
And then I, of course, I want the output of the filter going into my mixer. So putting that into the output here. So now you can hear the filter is open so I can hear my sound. So I have to take the filter down a bit. So the cutoff frequency on the filter is now in such a way that it doesn't let any sound through unless I open the filter with my envelope. So let's take the envelope, so this is the cable from the envelope, and I put it into the CV1 input here. So this is the CV1 input on the filter. And let's see what happens when I press a key. Nothing happens. And that is because there is a button called CV1 control. CV1. And this means, this is a... Mo uh, um, attenuator button and this says how much of the CV control do I actually let uh, through to the filter and I want to turn this up quite a bit actually. So now let's uh, make that all a little bit quicker. So now you can hear that the filter is opening or the cutoff frequency is changing from the envelope, from my key presses. So this is really cool. Uh, so you can use either a VCA or a filter to get the note on, note off behavior um, that you are after. So I hope this was um, helpful. And uh, yeah, please try this basic patch. I know I've showed this on, on a very big system and you may have only a starter rack, but you have those modules. You have a VCO module, you have an envelope, you have a VCA and you have at least one filter. You probably have the SV filter in your rack and that works exactly the same way. You have a CV input, um, CV1, and you have the CV knob here that works exactly like on the Nile filter as well. So good luck and happy patching.